Hi, I'm Ellie Gwynn, and today I'm just throwing it off script because it's been one of those days, and I'm going to be drinking lots of wine from my boot glasses, which you can now get, by the way. Uh, so what we're going to do today, I thought, what am I going to do? I kind of felt kind of blah today, so I put on a dress, and I thought, don't you feel good when you put on a dress? It's like, just go put on a dress and makeup and walk around. Uh, in your heels and you'll feel pretty. <laughs> I like being pretty. <laughs> so anyway, I felt kind of blah today, so I put, that's why I have my apron on because I didn't want to slop on my dress. And so today I thought, what am I gonna do? And I figured we all have those family recipes that are really fattening that we absolutely love. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna remake those into something healthy. So if you have a family recipe that you want me to remake, Contact me on Facebook, Goddess of Grub, and I will see what I can do for you. And then I might use it on the show, which is kind of fun, because I like doing that. So today we're gonna make beef stroganoff. That was my one of my A-team's uh, fattening meals growing up, and it was really greasy and nasty, and so I'm gonna turn it into something healthy and good. And we will be right back with that. Join us. Welcome back to the Grub Club. We are gonna get started with our beef stroganoff as my pan is smoking hot. Um, so we've diced an onion, and for those of you that wanna measure, you need two cups, but I thought, this looks good enough. Remember, it's the day where I'm like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. And if you haven't been here before, I'm a gnat. <laughs> <laughs> and we are missing our other A of our A team, which is Alicia. Um, mommy duty called, her baby got sick, and you know what? That just happens to us in life sometimes. And those it? are our priorities, really. Yeah, and I'm so gonna stand back because this is really hot. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get in that start with the beef stroganoff. What you're gonna do now, I've had, um, a half a cup of flour, and then I added a teaspoon of rancher. So if you don't have the rancher rub from Wild Tree, you would use a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, okay? And so you're just gonna dump that in there, and we're gonna throw that away. All right. And then you're gonna seal that up. Okay. Now remember, I don't use bowls, remember? It's bags only, because it makes life so much easier. So she's gonna coat this in flour, and then we're gonna sear make it sure off it's now. Sealed, so yes. The flour flying through the kitchen. Exactly. And we're gonna make sure that this is super hot because when you cook beef like this for beef stroganoff, now you can use hamburger um, or turkey or whatever, but when you do this, you want it super hot because as that meat caram caramelizes, <laughs> that's a hard word to say, um, it adds all this depth of flavor and it, it's really yummy. So now I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out because I'm the A team member that you know big family recipe was the snow stroganoff and you know when I was six I didn't care about all that grease and <laughs> gravy and all that and mom I love you it was really good but I'm like now that you know you kind of care about all those calories and I'm yeah. like I don't think I could eat that so um, well and as an overweight person which most of you know that I was um, I try to I, I still want the flavor and I still want it to taste good and I still want those old family recipes but I want them a little healthier, so that's awesome. So what you're gonna do when you make sure that this is super, super hot, and we're going to sear that, so that means it's gotta be screaming hot. So you threw water in there to make sure it's super hot, and what does the water do when it's not super hot? Uh, it won't do anything. Okay, It'll there just sit there. <laughs> so you can, that's a good way to tell. You can put the end of a wooden spoon, and if it bubbles, that means it's super hot. Huh. Or you can, I just flick some water in and stand back, and if it, pops all over the place, then we know it's really hot. She forgot to tell hot. me to stand back. Oops. Good <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're pretty, though. <laughs> Not after I have you. <laughs> all right, so we're going to actually um, open so, that up. OK. Because we don't want all that extra flour in it, because we're trying to keep this light, remember? We're trying to keep it healthy. So this is going to sear up. Now, so what I basically don't dump it in there, right? Yeah, probably not. Because I would dump And the meat that I used, I actually, I know I cheated, and I actually went the expensive route and did filet today because I wanted to cook it faster. 
So if you want to cook it faster, use a better piece of meat because if you're using, oopsie, if you're using like um, an arm roast or a shoulder roast or whatever, uh, it's going to take you a little longer. If you buy that stew meat in the store, perfectly fine. It's just that that is going to take oh, a lot longer. Oh, we missed there. one. Because that's my question. Like, because I know. I mean, grew up on a farm. You know, my mom had six people to feed. You know, she's not going to buy the most expensive cut of meat. But correct. So, what do you suggest for people that have a ton of kids yeah. and they're trying to keep it healthy? Right. And if you want to do stew meat, you can buy that stew meat in the store. It's already cubed up for you. Or you can buy a roast, and you're going to slice that roast in half this way because it's super thick. And then you're going to cube it after that. All right, so what's going to happen is when you use the stew meat or the cheaper cut of meat, you're going to have to bake it in the oven longer. So you want to sear it, get that caramelization going. And then what we're going to do is once this is seared, see it's looking beautiful already, we're going to take it out and we are going to put it in a bowl and set it aside so that we can do our onions and our mushrooms. Now, if you don't, if you don't think your kids are going to eat mushrooms, which is totally possible, um, you could totally chop up a zucchini really, really tiny and put it in there, and then you're getting some veggies in there, which it's they'll never know. Green, though. Peel green. it. Peel it. That's a good idea. You peel it. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, you just really can. I'll even come you in. You can hide I, those in there. Yeah, I'll come in. And you remember the time that I had that mushroom and I thought it was a piece of chicken, but I realized it was a mushroom? <laughs> but that was nasty. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, and some of you, that's. That's what you got at home. That's what you got to do. Because you're almost burning it, so you want it kind of high. Yeah, I mean, it's you want to watch. I mean, yeah. this is actually, this is obviously brown enough, and I don't want to make it. This is a rotated brown. Yeah, you really, if you do two minutes per side, you should be, it just looks like, and some and people's ovens are like, or stove tops are like this, where one spot gets hotter than the other. Do you need more grits to that happens. No, that's good. Okay. But we're you can almost add done. more grapeseed oil. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it, because remember, we're trying to make this light and healthy. Oh, yeah. Um, versus. So, here's the other thing. If you want to use hamburger or turkey or anything like that, you can totally do that um, rather than using the, the larger cuts. Um, I think that's what mom did. She took hamburger and made it into balls. Balls? Balls. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I like balls as much as the next person, but you know, that's a little. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure either. That's well. You know what? Though everybody has a different way of making. Or maybe them. they were patties. No, you're just... probably right. I remember <laughs> that now. I, I take that back. I do remember that. Um, Going way back, yeah. sister. <laughs> and actually, Wild Tree makes their um, own version of stroganoff. It's meals in a box. Or it's something. meals in a box. It's so it's just that the, it's healthy the version of hamburger helper, really. Now we're gonna turn this way down here to like medium or medium low, and then I'm going to add some more oil in there. Okay, or I can. And, yeah, or Is you can. Is it going can. to sizzle at me? Um, it'll sizzle a little bit. So anyway, back to the hamburger. Is that good? It's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> back to the hamburger. What? What you want to do is there's 80%, 85, 90, and 95%. And that's the, the lean, OK? So you're going to go ground beef, you're going to ground chuck, ground round, and then ground sirloin. So that's your 80, 85, 90, 95. By law, your meat cannot have more than 30% fat. I did not know that, but I learned that. Super fun fact. Okay, but <laughs> or that's not. where I, I go there, I'm like, okay, what did she say? Is it round sirloin? And I'm like, I forget the names. Well, we all, names. usually we all know that beef is the lowest and sirloin is the highest. It's the two middle ones oh, that, that I forget. The grub would know that. Well, but I forget that though too. Even I'm, I'm at the store going, uh, what is that again? Yeah, it's always, it's chalk and then round. So I don't know, we have to think of a good catchy way to remember Chuck is that. cheap. Nice! Good job. <laughs> Chuck is cheap. <laughs> I, I now can go to the grocery store. It is. Store. It's cheaper. And so we're going to um, start our onions and our mushrooms when we come back. And we will show you how that looks in just a momento. Hello, I'm Mary Ann Takis. I'm a certified Christian life coach and the owner of Coaching Women for Life. As a mom who's experienced a catastrophic illness with one of her children, I understand what it's like to face significant challenges. It's my goal to come alongside women who are feeling stuck or overwhelmed to help them find clear direction and to discover hope. Contact me at my website, coachingwomenforlife.com, by phone at 419-304-0432, and be sure to like us on Facebook. 
For quality and experience building and remodeling, you want Wesson Builders. Family owned and operated, Wesson Builders has been serving the Toledo area since 1946, and quality and fair prices have kept them in business. Wesson home remodeling experts provide that personal touch to help you along the way. Rough shell or totally finished, they're reliable and reputable for all your home improvement projects. And they still do garages. Improve the quality of your life by improving the quality of your home. Wesson Builders. Over 12,000 financial advisors. Over $700 billion in assets under care. How did Edward Jones get so big? Could you teach our kids that trick? By not acting that way. <laughs> okay, last quarter. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. Every day, Fast Signs helps businesses with their visual communications. We ask the right questions, which makes your facility safe and more efficient. We recommend smart solutions, and people get where they're going. We bring new ideas and help you build your business. Fast Signs offers more than signs and graphics. We're innovators, planners, and designers, and we're more than ready to help. For more information or to request a consultation, visit FastSigns.com. Welcome back to the Grub Club, and I'm going to show you guys a little trick, and this is really cute. I learned this and just recently. So you take one of these pans that have the holes on it, or you can take your actually your oven grate too and put it across here, and it frees up counter space, but you put anything that you're cooking with, herbs, mushrooms in this case, and you just do a little, a little spray, and you want, that's how you're cleaning them off. So they drip on here. It actually works out really perfectly. You can shake them off, but you know, just leave them there until you're ready to use them. And that is a really cute trick that will free up some counter space for you. So we are gonna take these mushrooms now. Uh, Annette is gonna make them in a reasonable size. And so what we did was we added a little bit more of the uh, grapeseed oil. And you can use plain, you can use garlic, whatever you want to. And then we're putting, these are already cleaned and sliced, so we're putting those in. So which should you use? The You're gonna use both. You're gonna use, these are cremini mushrooms, these brown ones. We grab one that that brown like that. Those are cremini, and then the rest are bus button mushrooms, regular old mushrooms. So you can use whatever. You can use well, yeah, you pretty much could. Um, or like I said, if you don't want to use mushrooms at all. I love mushrooms. Yeah, I'm not a huge mushroom fan. I gotta say, I gotta say. I think we'll add just a little bit more because we were letting it sit here and cook off. And these are going to saute down. Do we have the onions in there? Uh, no, we're actually going to saute these down a little bit. And then okay. we are going to add the onion uh, after that. And then we're going to add all the rest of the ingredients that we need, which isn't much, actually, by the way. Um, and you know, sometimes beef stroganoff is creamy. And yeah. so the lighter way to make this is we're actually we've got a half a cup of sour cream over here. And then I'm going to give Annette some dill to chop. And we're just going to throw some dill in there. Now, you could actually use a little bit of um, ranch seasoning or like Hidden Valley if you have it. I'm not a big fan, you know me, I like the natural stuff. Wild Tree does yes, make yes. a ranch dressing and they also make a dill dip. So you could do it, you could sprinkle the little dill dip mixture in there and it would be exactly the same. You can serve it on top or we can mix it in at the end. So what you're gonna do is once the sauce is made, you're not going to want to add that sour cream as you're cooking because it'll break down and it looks kind of disgusting, actually. So you want to make sure everything is off the heat uh, and cool just a, just a hair, just to make sure that that sour cream doesn't, you know, break up and look, look gross. Cooking mushrooms down. 
cooking mushrooms. So we seared our beef in flour. A couple minutes on each side. Now it's not totally cooked yet because we're going to okay. bake it. And now we added some more grapeseed oil and we're cooking down these mushrooms. How does the beef go in next? No, the beef just stays until we're ready to throw it in the oven. Okay. okay. So that's little, now that we've cooked it off, it's kind of the last thing to go. So what we have done here is we added a little a tablespoon of butter. Now that's not much, it's a little bit considering it's for the whole meal. And we've added some saute or some onions that we're sauteing. And then we are adding and we set what, our mushrooms aside over here. We set our mushrooms aside. Correct. I have and no idea if I'm cutting this right. Um, you don't want to cut the stems. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so just chop those off? Actually, okay. okay, never mind. I'll show you later. Actually, when you have a bunch of parsley, you just twist and grab and you just take the tops off. So um, don't do what I just did. Yeah, pretty much. You're pretty though. That's <laughs> all that matters. <laughs> so anyway, we've sauteed our uh, onions and then I've added a member Oh gosh, was it one or two weeks ago when I showed you how to do the tomato paste? So you buy the bigger can that's cheaper, and then you measure them out into one tablespoon in your ice cube trays and freeze them. And I have I a baggie it. full. In it's awesome. Oil. So that I just grabbed them out of my baggie, and I had two tablespoons. So that's you want two cubes or two tablespoons, and you're going to put this in here and just kind of saute it up. Now you know me. I, I love my stems. I love my oh, rancher sweet. steak rub. And so I'm going to put a little bit of that Don't in. Tell Ellie about any of the stems that are in the parsley. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's eating it. She'll know. It'll get caught in your yeah. teeth. So I'm giving you um, a little bit of flavor, a little bit more flavor. And then what we're going to do is we are actually going to deglaze this with sherry. Now, some chicken and beef broth are going in, but you want to do your alcohol first. Okay, is that like sherry like sherry that people drink sherry or yes you can drink this i usually buy uh the least expensive to cook with maybe that's the problem mom never put alcohol in our beef stroke right no. that was the problem was it. <laughs> that explains a lot <laughs> so what you want to do is you put your sherry in and sherry actually is just fortified wine and what fortification means is they're adding alcohol to it so bonus yeah so it's really strong wine yeah it's, um, is, there's one kind that's, I can't remember what the heck it's called, Philo or F-I-L-O or whatever, something like that. So you can get it's that. It's 15% or the next highest is 18%. So you can get that at a grocery store or you go to you can get it, store? Uh, well, yeah, I think grocery stores sell it because it's not actually a, li a liquor. It's okay. actually more of a wine. Right. So they'll sell, anyone that sells wine, Anderson's is where I picked mine up. And so you kind of cook that off. Now, sherry, and uh, this one's dry, so it just kind of adds a little bit of a flavor to it. And the alcohol cooks off, so no worries. You're not going to, you know, booze your children up. But and that might not be bad. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's never a bad idea. It's time for bed, children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one from, and you've all done it, where you give your kid the Benadryl on the airplane. Mm -hmm. My kids never scream. When they're like they're taking off, it's just a little bit of a hill. I have a little bit of a drill, honey. It's good for you, a little candy. Especially when they have those things that you they like melted on your tongue. Here, yeah, give you your tongue, sweetie. She's still a good mom, but she saved everyone's yeah peace on their airplane, right? And all the other people wondered what happened. Why exactly. my kids are so good? Exactly. Okay. Is this going in? No, not yet. So we've done this. We're going to add a half a cup of chicken broth, a half a cup of beef broth. I just mixed them together. No need to. Um, measure them all out separately or whatever. And you're gonna turn the heat up just a bit to medium high and we're gonna cook this down. Okay, and now and we're gonna add everything in here and then throw it in the oven. Okay, now quick question about this because this is sour cream and the dill that I chopped up previously. Yeah. But can you use like fat free sour yeah. cream? Because I or does it make it taste like gross? No. If I if I didn't say that, I should have said that you can use fat free, you can use low fat, light, whatever you want. Um, this it's all about uh, your taste. So you can use uh, high test is what we call it. You can use the regular full high fat. Test. High test. It's full fat. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it was Anything that's like really full fat or you know, you know, the original we always call high test. I don't know why. That's just something I grew up with. I don't know. So we're going to add all this back in here, and we're going to not add the sour cream because we're going to add that at the end. I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> Add the beef back in. Now remember, I use filet mignon, so it's not going to yes. take as long to cook. Parsley? Nope, not yet. That goes on the end. It's that's the pretties that go on the end. <laughs> Look, now she's like, I have nothing to do. <laughs> uh, so we've got this all mixed together. This is going to really come together and just be kind of saucy and wonderful, and it's going to taste great. 
And we are gonna throw that in the oven and when we come back, we're gonna do some girl talk and then we'll be tasting our food. Every day, Fast Signs helps businesses with their visual communications. We ask the right questions, which makes your facility safe and more efficient. We recommend smart solutions and people get where they're going. We bring new ideas and help you build your business. Fast Signs offers more than signs and graphics. We're innovators, planners, and designers, and we're more than ready to help. For more information or to request a consultation, visit fastsigns.com. Over 12,000 financial advisors. Over $700 billion in assets under care. How did Edward Jones get so big? Could you teach our kids that trick? By not acting that way. <laughs> okay, last quarter. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Hello, I'm Mary Ann Takis. I'm a certified Christian life coach and the owner of Coaching Women for Life. As a mom who's experienced a catastrophic illness with one of her children, I understand what it's like to face significant challenges. It's my goal to come alongside women who are feeling stuck or overwhelmed to help them find clear direction and to discover hope. Contact me at my website, coachingwomenforlife.com, by phone at 419-304-0432, and be sure to like us on Facebook. Whether you support the Comets, the Panthers, or the Bulldogs, the Eagles, Wildcats, or Flyers, we at Genoa Bank support you. We're a local bank that takes pride in serving our community with personal and prompt service, innovative products, and stable financial guidance. We're a bank that believes in playing our part. And, well, that's earned us quite a few fans of our own. Genoa Bank, playing our part in the community, taking your banking needs personally. Everyone knows Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, or did he? Turns out a man named Antonio Mucci actually made the first telephone. Mucci never paid the $10 fee to claim his patent on the phone. And 11 years later, Alexander Graham Bell filed his patent for the phone. Mucci died penniless and forgotten. Do you have a great idea? Call Fraser, Clemens, Martin & Miller to protect your idea with a trademark patent or copyright. Don't let someone else benefit from your idea. Protect it today. Hey golfers, come play Toledo's premier public golf course. Heather Downs Country Club is where you belong in 2014. Heather Downs is a beautiful 18-hole layout with stunning views and ideal conditions. Tee times are available seven days a week with great rates. Want to work on your game? Our driving range and practice center is the best place to groove your swing. Try individual lessons with golf director Dan Sutton. Clinics are forming now. Go to heatherdowns.com or call 419-385-0248. Heather Downs Country Club, where you belong in 2014. Welcome back. It's Annette and I, and remember Alicia's on mom duty today, and we're off script, and I put a dress on because I just didn't feel like, you know, I, I wanted to feel pretty today. We're making the beef strong enough. That's in the oven. We're going to eat it in a minute, but we wanted to, since we're short on time, we are just going to do straight boob of the week. Straight to boob of the week. I love boob of the week. Don't you? I look forward boobs. to it. <laughs> you know, boobs are always good. So I was looking online, and I saw this thing where this website was put up with pictures of fat people on it. Now, being a former fatty, um, I had a, a little more self-confidence, I think, than some other people do, but I thought it was mean and nasty. And so they just put pictures of fat people? Yeah, to kind of shame them. Did they them. say anything, or no. they just kept posting fat people? Yeah, because they tend to shame them, and one woman that saw her picture. Some woman saw her picture on it. And she's just like, well, I have enough self-confidence, and I don't so really care. So did they have care. a name to the website, or are they just a person just... It was like five, four, whatever the area code in uh, South Carolina, or not South Carolina, California. It's like 560, and, five, just, six, oh, and oh. it was the name of the, the Facebook page. It was weird. Four, so then I got taken down, put back up, whatever. So anyway, oh. I think that... That's absolutely... That's a big boob to be yeah. doing that. Facebook should be taking that page down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and my thing is, too, is like... Uh, let's let's examine your life and see how it really, gets. Let's put a microscope over you and exactly. see how that goes. Exactly. So absolutely. So toasting to boob the boob of the, of the week. week that made that Facebook page that for Facebook the fat page. Oh, our timer's done. Turn it off. 
It's time to do stroganoff. I didn't even get to drink. <laughs> I know, we have to toast and drink. Hold on, I have to drink. We have priorities. We have to drink to that boob of the week. Okay, you get it. This ought to be good. Okay, that's good. Oh no, good. let's watch let's watch the A do it. <laughs> I'm not the goddess of grub, just to let you know that. <laughs> Those cast iron uh, pots are nice though. I would totally I would okay, so invest in one. Nope, just give me the plates. Okay. Now remember I used filet, so it cooked in about 15 minutes as opposed to the stew meat, which would be about 45 minutes on 325. Um, so that's the scoopage one now. Okay, now what am I, I'm still, I want to use my dill dip in my Oh, parsley. we're doing it, we're doing it, I swear. You're driving me crazy, sister. I know. <laughs> remember, you can put it all in here or I like, this is how we're gonna do it. Okay. We're just gonna add a little bit on here. And a little bit but if you're feeding the family, it makes sense to just dump. Yeah, you can totally dump. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle. Yes. Yes. Sprinkle. Parsley is just for freshness and prettiness, and it that's all pretty. that is for. It's but have some nutritional value. What? Parsley. Oh uh, well, you know. No. Okay. Does that count as a vegetable? I don't think it counts it's as green. a vegetable. <laughs> mm. Tell me, mm -hmm. this is definitely. It looks different than the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome too. And then, so all I did was make some egg noodles. You can use, um, you know, penne, you can use whatever. And I like the Barilla. Remember, I think I mentioned this before, the Barilla Plus actually has more protein in it. So I don't think there's any actual rules. You can kind of make your own thing up. And some people have gluten-free that you need to yeah. focus on. Yeah, gluten-free so. noodles, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is awesome and um, it's fairly easy. So if you want to send in your like family fattening recipes for me to make over, I'm happy to do that. And you might even make it on the show. So Fine. you could come we on. Love to have a new guest. I know, and we could just do this on the fly. Wouldn't that be fun? So come and join us. Thanks again uh, to Annette for another great glob, glob crop. Glob, glob crop. See, See? I can't even talk. I told you this was the off day, right? <laughs> so I can't. Uh, it's Grub Club. You know my show. I should know this, right? Check it on Facebook. Check it on Facebook, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.